Hi crafty friends, it's Sylvia. Welcome back to my channel, Scrapping Sylvia. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please like and comment. I always forget to mention that. Um, so today, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Guys, I finally finished this beautiful painting uh, by Captured by Radiance, okay? But before we get uh, into more details, let me just show you very quickly what I used. Okay, I use these two beautiful pens and I single place. Uh, this is from Diamond Art Club. Okay, and this one is from Norse Alchemist. Uh, I believe it's, uh, you can buy these on Etsy and I believe they're from uh, Denmark. Okay, and I use glue dots for the single placing. It works amazingly. And then, of course, I use their tweezer. This is captured by Radiant Tweezer. And I use the trinket tray. And this trinket tray is by Lexi Sparkle Crafts, also on Etsy. I think she has all her, her own website. And then I always use two trays, a small one and a large one. The small one is from Bella Essential uh, Tray. It's from Bella Art Diamonds. And the bigger one is from Yellow Dog Designs. <clears throat> and this is a beautiful cover binder. Look at how beautiful this is, guys. I thought it would go perfect with the colors here. So it's got green, yellow, red, blues. And this is from Alisa. Uh, and she also has a, uh, a YouTube channel called The Diamond Stitcher. And she also has a Facebook group. And this is where I kept my trash. This is a heart-shaped, beautiful tray. And this is made from my friend Angie, and she's from Sparkle Addiction Art, also on Etsy. Okay, these are all the things that I use. All right, so I'm gonna put this all aside now. <coughs> Got a little cough there, sorry. Okay, so this beautiful painting, guys, like I mentioned before, is uh, by, it's actually from Captured by Radiance. Uh, this beautiful painting was sent to me by Deborah, and I did an unboxing, uh, I believe five months ago. I'm a little behind. And, okay, and it's called Blue Moon Number 6, uh, B-31, and it's by Andy Russell. Okay, and it's at 80 by 60 centimeters. So it's a big one, guys. And it is a square. It is a square diamond drill, and it's got two uh, two legends. I'm just gonna have to fold this. One legend is here on the left hand side, and what I like about this is it also offers a another legend on the right hand side. But this one you could reverse it, so you could flip it. Like this. So just in case you're working down here, which is perfect, and that way you could read the legend. Okay. Uh, and before I forget, because I forget everything, the canvas, guys, the canvas is actually very soft. And it's got scallop edges. And it also has those little pinholes. And that's just to prevent from fraying, from the uh, painting falling apart. Okay? And I believe that this canvas is made of high-quality silk cotton. All right? And this is poured glue. So let's turn it again. Uh, now, when I was kidding up this painting, I absolutely love everything about this painting, but I remembered when I was kidding it up, the drills were like a little bit of jumping beans. But sometimes, you know, that cannot be helped. It could be uh, depending on the weather. It's humid here in Texas, hot. And so, but it was very easy to take care of. All I did was take uh, fabric softener sheets, I cut them up and I put them in each container. And that really did help. Okay. Um, what else? The canvas, like I said, oh, the symbols. The symbols were very clear, <coughs> very easy to read. And the drills, let me show you. <coughs> the drills are resin, which is beautiful because resin uh, drills are the best quality, I believe. They're very shiny and this came with 
60 colors, and it has five ABs. So it's one, two, three, four, five ABs. <coughs> oh my God, I have a cough. <coughs> oh, sorry. And two unicorn poops, which that's what she calls them. But basically they're fairy dust diamonds. And fairy dust diamonds is basically a drill with a little bit of mica powder to so make it shiny. And the ABs also have an extra shine to them. And that means Aurora Borealis. <coughs> Excuse me, one second. I need a little bit of water. Okay, sorry about that. I had to sip some water. I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, I was fine. As soon as I started doing the video, I get a cough. Like, I start coughing. Okay, I just drank some water, but I'm, I think I'm good now. Okay, so like I was saying, this is a square. The drills are resin. Uh, what I liked about this one, and I kept telling my friends, is that these guys the squares they just fit perfectly like they snapped in and i love that okay so i really had a great experience with this and also um the leftovers as you can see i didn't run out of any of them i still have lots of leftovers left and as you can see here and <coughs> you can see the um the fabric softeners in there the sheets and like I said, so we have, let's see, let's take these out. These are the poop. And these are the, uni these are the unicorn poop, which is the fairy dust diamonds. And these are the AB. So that's what we're gonna need for now. Let's take, so let's take these out, <clears throat> put them aside. And by the way, I did have some tr uh, trash, more than usual, uh, as you can see, but that's okay. Because like I said, I did not run out of uh, drills and I have plenty, plenty of leftovers. All right, so <clears throat> also by looking at this painting, as you can see, guys, it had a lot of confetti. So confetti meaning that you're going to have to have, you're going to have to change the drills constantly because there's lots of different colors in a certain area. And then color blocking, it's the same color, okay, in a certain spot. So if you look at, let's put this aside for a second. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so when you look at this beautiful painting here in the sky, you have lots of color blocking even though you have different color colors here. But you, I, it was a long time with this color, with this dark blue, and then a long time with this color, and then this color. So that's color blocking. Now, confetti, meaning that you're gonna have to change, like I said, constantly. So that was in the mountains, not a lot, but some. Uh, a lot, a lot of confetti on the trees, the leaves, as you can see, uh, down here on the flowers. All these beautiful flowers, lots of confetti. Over here also, tons of confetti. And down here also. The grass, not so bad. I had a, I had a little bit of both, a little mix, mixture. And also the house. Now, uh, let's move this aside. Now let's look at the uh, unicorn poop. Let's see. Now I'm gonna show you where the ABs are Try to organize these. Let's see. Okay, so this is the uh, unicorn poop. That's what she calls them. And basically, this is, as you can see, it's got mica powder on them, and it has like a very pretty shine to them. And this one is blue, and this one is uh, 827. So 827, I had, let's see, I wrote it down. 827 it's in the flowers okay so let me show you <clears throat> it's all over here on the flowers there's some here on the tree branch not the tree branch on uh, the bark the bark of the tree okay you have no not up there you do have some on the house on the reflection in the water of the house and you definitely where else did I say that you had some oh you have some on the mountains it's light light blue and again let's see some down here on the flowers okay I didn't change any of the drills because I thought I had enough uh, ABs and I had enough uh, of the unicorn poop now this one is 3844 again 
It's like a fairy dust diamond, but she calls them unicorn poop. This is like a darker blue. And this one basically is on right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's on the mountains right there. Okay. Uh, you have some on these little trees right there. You have some all over here, mostly on the flowers. And you have a lot up here also on the tree. I'll bring it up so you can see it. And a lot down here on the flowers. All right, so I'm just bring it up so you can see it. I gotta shine on that, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. I took this uh, painting, look at the shine. I took this painting with me to the mini retreat that I went with Jack and everyone loved this painting, guys, because it's absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning. Okay, so this one is AB321, uh, and this is the red. And again, this is again, this is actually on the rooftop of the house. You have a lot here concentrated in this area here, in the flowers. You have a lot on the tulips. I believe those are tulips. And more over here, down here on the flowers, on these flowers here and scattered here on the flowers. Most of these ABs, guys, and um, the unicorn poop is on the flowers. And of course, on the tree. Now this one is 666 AB. And this, I believe, is a bright red. And this is mostly on the tulips. Over here. Mostly on the tulips, okay? The next one is AB973, and it's pretty yellow. And let's see, I believe this was actually considered canary bright. And this one is actually right here. It's in the inside of the tulips. You have a lot here. And I believe that's part of the grass. And let's see where else. Yeah, mostly there. And some here scattered on the, on the uh, flowers again. All right. This one is AB3607, and this one is considered a plum light, plum light, which looks more like a pink. And again, this is on the beautiful flowers. Uh, let's see, where else? No, not there. It's mostly, ah, it's mostly here, guys, on this big pink flower. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but look at the shine. Look at that. All right, and the last one is 5200, which I believe is considered uh, Snow White. And this one is here, here on the house or the mansion. And of course, on the water because it's, the, it's reflecting the house on the water. And some here on the edge of the mountain or the mountains. And I think that's about it, guys. Oh, wait, I took that back. And some here, some down here, a couple of the of the um, white flowers. So yeah, I love this painting. Now I forgot to mention that I actually started this painting on February twenty second of twenty twenty four, which is the end of February, and I finished it <laughs> today, June twenty seventh. But the reason is. It's because uh, in the month of March, I actually stopped working on it because I was working on Moon Fairy. And then for the month of April, I was working on Nyoko on a special event with my two buddies, Jack and Becky. So basically, I, I, I worked on it for like a, like a week, week and a half maybe in February. And then I worked on it in May and in June. So basically two months in a, in a week or two. Yeah, uh, and on top of that, of course, I single place, and I am a slowpoke. But there's no rush, because remember, why do we do this? We do this because it calms us down, right? It relaxes us, and there's no rush. It's not a contest. But, yeah, so I love it. And this is going to be look absolutely beautiful in a frame. My mother loves it. So I'm thinking of putting it up uh, where she can see it every day. But I'm not going to put it in a frame yet because I'm 
not putting anything in frames until the end of the year because that way I can show you what I've worked on during the year. So I just want to say again, thank you for Deborah for sending me this beautiful painting to share with you guys. All right. Um, very quickly, I don't know if I can, I will take a picture and post it, but I just want to see that there goes the tree, the sky, that beautiful house. The mountains. I'm just gonna fold it up here so you can see the moon. See the moon. Our little trees, the flowers, and these beautiful flowers over here. And keep in mind, guys, that's the other thing. Um, I've had this painting hanging <laughs> or working on it uh, since February, and to tell you the truth, which I'm really, really amazed. I have had no popping drills, so I love that. Um, very excellent quality, very good quality, guys. And anyway, and then again, a beautiful painting. So I hope you love this painting as much as I do. And thank you very much, and bye-bye.